So that was kind of weird. I was driving and then in my rear view mirror, I saw somebody like waving. So I was like, oh, is she waving at me? So I waved back and then I thought she was gonna, you know, drive through with me, but then she went forward. So I guess she wasn't waving at me. <sighs> Awkward. Look how beautiful our that's, city is. That's how you film it? This is how <laughs> I do it. I don't know how other people do it. Lunch with Craig. Um, he's one of the college guys right now at church. A good time of fellowship and just talking and just seeing how he's doing and um, encouraging him and um, being able to kind of share the ministry with him too um, as we're both doing music at church. So that's exciting and you know God's doing such great things in his life and um, he's learning how to be a leader and he's taking care of middle school kids and um, it's just amazing. Time to edit my blog. I mean vlog. Excuse me. Just came back from the gym. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have some hot coffee soon. Dinner get together tonight. Corso Singers kickoff. No gym today. I know, terrible, right? I hear there are people renting out their houses just because of Super Bowl, and people are actually buying it for like thousands of dollars. They're actually renting it out for thousands of dollars. Sports can get people pretty crazy. I use Waze for my GPS, best GPS ever. It has a social media quality to it. You get to report on things that are on the road. If there's a cop hiding on the side, you can report that. And everybody who's on Waze behind you, they will actually warn them like a mile ahead to watch out that there's a cop. So that's super helpful, especially if you're on the freeway. Of course, the downfall is, you know, if there are not a lot of cars and not a lot of people on ways and they don't report it, then you'll never know. But better than nothing, right? Ah, thank you, Waze. See, there was a cop right there. Before I used this app, I never noticed cars on the side of the road, especially on the freeway. But when I started using Waze, because you need to watch out for it and you want to report it, um, you notice it more because you're looking for it. For me, I feel like it makes it safer for me to drive because I'm constantly now looking for cops and vehicles stopped on the side of the road and hazards and things like that. The cool thing too is it's like a game. You get points for reporting. So every time you report something, you get six points. And there's like a ranking system and people ask me, oh, what's that for? Like, do you get something and like bragging rights? There's like different levels. You can be like, you start out as like an infant or a baby. And, and at the end you become, you can become like a king, which means you have a lot of points. So I'm a king now, yay. Which really does nothing for me, except it makes me feel very good. Sometimes I actually have celebrity voices for you. There's one time I had Kevin Hart. And so like, I don't remember the stuff he says, but it was hilarious. Most of the time, pretty accurate. It'll actually reroute you better than Google Maps, I think. There are times that it has failed me, but most of the time, it has helped me a lot. There was one time uh, I was coming from the mall, and I was coming back to the city, and it was rerouting me and telling me, hey, by the way, you know, try this route. It's gonna cut your time like, 15 minutes, 20 minutes shorter. I was like, sure, why not? Lo and behold, it was 15, 20 minutes faster. And it was amazing because later on I saw in the news that um, that there was a protest. Now it makes sense why Waze rerouted me. It wasn't because it was, you know, just trying to be nice. It was just, it just knew there were Wazers there too, reporting for it and telling other people, uh, don't come over here, it's, you know, there's protests, it's blocked, and things like that. Oh, and the other thing too is you can report like accidents. Is there construction, or is the road closed, or so many things. It's genius. You should all get this app. So cool, because it just rerouted me. I usually take the freeway, but 
I guess there's a lot of traffic on the freeway, so it's telling me to go on the side roads. Hello, everyone. So today, snack is going to be homemade popcorn. And so I make it like movie theater butter. And the only way to make it like theater butter is not just using this stuff, but using coconut oil, flavor call, which is like a butter salt, and Orville original poppers and use a big bowl. And so here's what you'll need. You're also gonna need a lid. I wanna use them almost a hole because you get ventilation. Hello, just came back from my dinner. It's 10.06. Oh, yummy dinner, but I felt weird because I had a little bit of heartburn, so that didn't feel good. But um, it kind of went away, and by dessert time, it was gone. My car was having some problems, or at least I thought it had some problems. It sent maintenance required, and you know, any light that goes on in your car always kind of freaks me out because. That means something's wrong, right? So I checked the manual and it's not a big deal. Apparently it's kind of built into the car that every like, you know, 10,000 miles or something like that, an indicator light will come on to tell you, oh, it's time for a scheduled maintenance. I just put in gas and sometimes there's lights that come on when your gas cap is off. Everything's good now. But yeah, it was a lot of fun um, at the Cornerstone Singers dinner. Um, we got to just, you know, hear a lot of good news, some, some prayer requests. Um, but you know, it's nice to have um, a group of you know family brothers and sisters to to encourage each other and to pray for each other I'm gonna shower now and um, this is where I say good night <laughs>